Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. My name is Marie, I live in New York. I love theater and cultural events. I love fashion and traveling. And I'm asking you to join me on the adventure. Today I'm on my way to meet my cousin Josie, or should I call her my co-host, to see the popular play, Some Like It Hot. Yes, it's a remake of the Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon movie of the same name starring Marilyn Monroe. But on that day, I didn't know Joe Biden was in town. I'm sorry, President Joe Biden was in town and the UN was in session. So gridlock. So you're going to get two different perspectives. So I'm going to switch over to my co-host who's going to give you a walking tour of Times Square. Definitely one of the touristy hot spots. The famous stairs that are on or in tons of movies. Alliance stage. 
where they have performances. Thank you for that tour, Josie. Meanwhile, I got off at 59th and 1st Avenue and started walking to 44th and Broadway. I don't know, by the time I got to 50th and 6th, I was tired, tired and hungry. So I hailed one of these bicyclists. Now, what I didn't know about them is they charged you per minute. But as a one-time thing to do and being in a crunch and trying to avoid gridlock, it was a wonderful touristy thing to do. And he tried to play all the music that one associates with New York. And you have a different perspective of the city. It was a lot of fun and he gave me door-to-door -door service. I was meeting my cousin and her friend Rosie and Lauren at a restaurant called Bacall's. It has a 1940s vibe and it honors Lauren Bacall. So you have pictures of Lauren Bacall, quotes from Humphrey Bogart, and they try to give you that feel. It also had a wonderful prefixed menu. And the best thing of all, it was right across from the Schubert Theater where Some Like It Hot was playing. So basically rushed in and thank God my cousin pre-ordered. She had an idea of what I would like. She got me the balsamic salad and um, I had the swordfish entree and the flan for dessert. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. And then we didn't have to rush because the theater was right across the street. The audience was hyped. The theater was full of excitement. And as usual, I cannot show you the play, but I hope you get a feel for Times Square, for Bacall's, and the excitement in the audience. Here's my posse, Josie, Rosie, and Lauren sitting there in anticipation. Josie got excellent seats and she used TDF, which is a discount ticket outlet. So this is why we get to see a lot of the shows. Some Like It Hot, the book is by Matthew Lopez and Amber Ruffin, music by Mark Shaman, lyrics by Scott Whitman and Mark Shaman. It is based, as I said, on the Metro Golden Mayor motion picture, Some Like It Hot. It won a few Tonys and it stars Christian Borle, Kevin Delaguela, Adam Heller, Demarius Copes, Natasha Yvette Williams, Adriana Hicks, Angie Schwarer, and Mark Lotito. Some Like It Hot is a whirlwind of a show, full of singing and dancing, and the jokes hit the way they're supposed to hit. So there was a lot of laughter, a lot of energy, and the audience loved the performance.
If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and remember to like, share, and subscribe.